There are a lot of great tangs you can put in your aquarium, but most of the ones you see are from the Indo-Pacific. It's amazing that these Atlantic blue tangs aren't more popular. East Coast represents coming up in this FinCast. Oh, I've been using ChemiPure now for, since it was originally developed. My husband uh, uh, used to speak with uh, Mr. Boyd about the development of the product. The fish are happy, it clears up the water, uh, makes your tanks look great. You get a, a blue, uh, blue-white crystal clear water. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. Today I want to talk about a marine fish that actually I don't even keep and I don't know why, because it's a great fish. It's the Atlantic Blue Tang. It's as pretty as any other tang that you can keep in your aquarium, but in my opinion, it's discriminated against because it comes from the East Coast, from the Atlantic. Now probably here's the reason why. When I owned the local fish store a few years ago, 90-95% of the fish that we ordered came from distributors on the West Coast, and that's where most of them are. They're in the greater Los Angeles area, and that's because it's just much easier when the collectors collect the fish from the wild to ship them from the Indo-Pacific, Hawaii, and so forth, over to Los Angeles. It's just closer, and then everybody who buys uh, wholesale fish to sell in the stores all comes from these distributors in the greater Los Angeles area. But that means fish from the Caribbean are missing out, and the Atlantic Blue Tang is one of them. And actually, of course, while the Caribbean is very nice, and there's some beautiful species there, there are more species in the Indo-Pacific, so you don't hear as much uh, about this fish. So I've been fortunate enough to do some work with Jeff Turner and the people at ChemiPure at a couple of their trade shows over the past several years. Uh, one of them, MACNA, and the other one is the Global Pet Expo, and you've seen some of my videos from, from those places. But very often, Jeff will set up in his booth a 500-gallon marine aquarium, and he'll do a Caribbean reef. And nobody does a Caribbean reef like Jeff. He's based in Florida, he's a diver, and he just knows it inside out. So he sets up an environment that is perfect for these Caribbean fish, and the Atlantic blue tang is always included in these tanks. So this past year, as they have in, in previous years, a group called Florida Keys Marine Life, fish collectors based in the Florida Keys, supplied the fish for Jeff's Aquarium, and I had the chance to talk with Jennifer Turner, a marine biologist, about the Atlantic blue tang. Most people are familiar with the Pacific blue hippo tang, but we actually have Atlantic blue tangs, but when they're juveniles, they're actually yellow. We can collect them, um, and they can be pretty tiny, about, you know, we make sure they're more than two inches when we collect them, and they're yellow and just adorable, and then they can actually get to about maybe four inches, four and a half, and then they'll kind of start to turn blue, but we do have some medium-sized ones that are still yellow sometimes, so they'll turn blue, and the tail will um, stay yellow for the most part, um, but they're really adorable, and it's a nice dark navy blue. Great, and that's a relatively easy fish to keep? Yeah, I mean, they're just like any other tanks. They'll um, pick on the algae on the rocks, and um, I wouldn't say that they're really any, they're not more aggressive than any other tanks. So you just keep them just like you would any other reef safe fish? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just feed them the regular food that you use, and um, like I said, just make sure they have lots of grazing opportunities on rocks or on the glass, and they should be pretty, pretty happy that way. Man, that was a cool tank. I'm telling you, every year when I come back from the show, I want to go and just raid my marine aquarium, get rid of all my beautiful Indo-Pacific stuff, and just fill it up with red sponges and gorgonians and, and fish from the Caribbean. And, and I actually have probably a higher percentage of those things in my aquarium than most of you watching this FinCast do. So anyway, the next time you're looking at something to put in your marine tank, consider the Atlantic Tang. Remember, I have fin casts for many marine species, and you can just click on the box if you'd like to see some of those options. I also do freshwater uh, fin casts. I've got a new series called Cichlid Adventures. Kind of interesting. You might want to venture over on the marine side. Click that box if you're interested. Or you can just click on me if you want to subscribe to FinCasters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.